Whoa, did you see that? Weren't those some of the beautiful documents? And now you must be wondering, how did I make them, right? So I just made use of MS Word word processor. That is, I want you to know that this word processor it is not just a simple text editor, but you can do much more things in that. For example, you can edit your text, you can format the text and print the text as well. When I talk about MS Word word processor, you can add different types of components to your document. That is not just the simple text, but you can also add some shapes, symbols, tables, charts and graphs. Along with that, you can also add numerous styles and design to your document. So here I am once again welcoming you to a new topic that is tools of word processor. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about different features of word processor. Starting with, I'm going to tell you as to how you can cut and paste in your document and you can also duplicate the text in MS Word. So without further ado, let's get started. So now here you can see that I have written some steps for creating a mango shake. But wait, what? These steps are not in a proper sequence, right? So I'm not going to erase them and write them again. What I'll do is I'll just make use of the feature called as moving the text. So for that, I will simply move my third step to a suitable place where it should be. So for that, I will first select my text. Now I will go to the cut option on the clipboard and you will see that my text will disappear. It will go to the clipboard temporarily. And now I'm going to place my cursor to that point where I want to insert that text. So I will click here at the end of the first sentence. I press the enter key and now I'm here on step number two and that is where I'm going to paste my text. So again, I'm going to go to the clipboard group and click on paste option. So see, it has been pasted. Now you can just delete this extra number. And once you do that, automatically the steps will be sequenced. The numbering will be correct. Likewise, I'm going to change the place of my fifth step, which is add some milk and sugar by clicking and dragging. And now I'll make use of the keyboard shortcut that is Control X. The moment I'm going to press Control X, you will see that my text will disappear. See, and now I'm going to place my pointer at the place where I want to add that step. So here I want my text to enter. So I pressed the Enter key and I pressed Control V. So now doing the necessary changes to sequence the steps. So here the steps are that is how you can actually move your text from one place to the other now let us suppose that you want to write the steps to create a milkshake so for that in instead of writing the entire step all the steps once again what we'll do is we'll simply copy the first line okay i'll select it and now in place of cut i will select the copy option copy option what will do it will copy the text to the clipboard temporarily and now place the pointer wherever you want to paste and now you can just press Control v from the keyboard for pasting it now we just have to change one word that is from mango we can change it to milk so there you have the heading of creating milkshake right and now since we know the steps for creating milkshake so what i'll do is i'll simply copy all the steps because more or less the steps are same we just need to change a few things here and there so for that again i've copied my text and now i will just scroll down bring my pointer to a new line and then i'll simply press ctrl v so now what i'll do is i can simply make the necessary changes in it that is I'll erase mango and I will write take a glass of milk. Now I'm not going to change the entire text for you. That is for you to practice. Okay. So now 
moving forward next let's see what is there the clipboard so like i said that whenever you cut or copy the text it automatically goes to the clipboard and gets stored there for some time okay so whenever you cut or copy a text or a picture or anything then that thing temporarily goes on the clipboard and then later on once you paste it then that thing is brought from the clipboard and pasted at the required place now you can also see where the clipboard is and uh, what is there in the clipboard by clicking on this small dialog box launcher of the clipboard group so this will help you in seeing as to what is stored temporarily on your clipboard if nothing is stored then it will be simply blank now in my next video i'm going to talk about how you can use of how basically how you can make use of the undo and the redo buttons present on the quick access toolbar now here in the document you can see i have a beautiful letter written for andrew and now let's say that by mistake i have deleted one line so how can i get back the same line right so for that i'm first going to remove one line for you so here i have selected the line and now i'm just going to press the backspace key to erase it there i go and now suppose i want to get it back then i'll make use of the undo option undo option helps you to cancel the last action that you have performed so here is the button i i'll click on undo and you will see that my last action which was erasing the text that will be cancelled and i'll get back my text again now let us say that um i don't want my last step to be cancelled rather i want again to delete it so i can make use of the redo button so redo button will again cancel my last undo action so that is the difference between your undo and redo buttons next moving forward we have a beautiful feature of ms word that is spelling and grammar tool so this tool helps us in identifying all the spellings and grammatical errors that are there in our document and it is very easy to find them why because all the grammatical errors are indicated by a green wavy line or a blue wavy line and all the spelling errors are indicated by a red wavy line so, and how does we this option work so for that have a look at the next clip so in my next clip as you can see i have written a letter but there are certain mistakes right so these spelling errors are highlighted with red wavy line as you can see as of now so what i'm going to do is to fix it we need to click on the beginning of the document then go to the review tab go to the spelling and grammar now the spelling and grammar dialog box appears right now you cannot see spelling and grammar dialog box because of some technical errors so but then the spelling and grammar box appears and one by one it highlights all the spelling mistakes and it also gives you the suggestion for the correct spelling so what you can do is just keep on selecting the correct spelling from the suggestion box and click on change once so likewise when you do this automatically all the spellings will be corrected see right now i'm clicking on on the change one option and automatically all my spellings are being corrected so that is how you make use of the spelling and grammar tool now the last topic for this video is thesaurus thesaurus is another tool in word processor which helps us in finding a list of synonyms and antonyms for any word okay so that means if you want your document to look more impressive you want to use more nice words so what you can do is you can make use of this thesaurus option because it has a lots and lots of antonyms and synonyms available in it all you should know is 
that MS Word has its own dictionary in which all the words are stored. Okay, and let us say that you want to add your uh, few words. For example, Hindi names are not there in MS Word dictionary. So whenever you write a Hindi name, it gives you a red wavy line, which means that this word is not present in the MS Word dictionary. So in order to add that, you can just follow the simple steps which I'll show you in my next video. And now this brings us to the end of my video. I hope you had a lot of fun and you could learn from this video. Last but not the least, you can see a nice letter in front of you where all the words are glowing like candle. So you must be wondering how did I do that? So this again leads you to my next upcoming video. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Stay safe.